good good afternoon all uh, today i am going to presentation on semantic web first is content introduction to semantic web web evolution goal of semantic web advantage of semantic web disadvantage of semantic web applications and conclusion first is introduction the semantic web is an extension of world wide web through standards set by the world wide web consortium to create metadata rich web of resources that can describe themselves not only by how they should be display or syntactically the semantic web is an extension of traditional web that is nothing but the extension of html language so that it come under semantic web it it provide common framework allowing to data to share and re reuse across different application the semantic web mainly consist of uh, xml schema xml rdf this is based on that human can read and understand and operate information present on web xml is a gen uh, extend extend markup language it is a general purpose of uh, general purpose for custom mar markup language similar to html but uh, html is predefined and xml is not predefined which is user can essentially created uh, second is web evolution world wide web was established with the objective of accessing the data from anywhere and any time first is uh, web 1.0 web 1.0 was all about uh, static content that is one way published content without any real interaction between uh, reader and publisher for example home page page views advertising data the main problem with this uh, web that user cannot uh, review or review the information that is uh, they cannot con uh, they cannot comment feedback or review it just information portal then uh, 2.0 web 2.0 it is all about two way communication that is real interaction between user and publisher for example youtube facebook but the problem with this web pages they are written in some scripting language they describing only syntax then web 3.0 that is semantic web uh, computer can understand the meaning behind the information they can learn what we are interested in that is semantic web then uh, goal of semantic web the goal of semantic web is to make internet data machine readable to enable the encoding of semantic with the data technologies such as resource description framework and uh, web ontology language are used this technology are used to formally represent metadata the semantic web makes information more useful to everyone because it can be re reproduced the semantic web essentially allows to uh, the connection of information uh, using a network that can be easily read or machine uh, that can be uh, easily read or machine whether computer iot device mobile phone or device commonly used to access information Uh, RDF is a resource description framework. Resource may be name, place, uh, web page, URL, part of web page, and uh, RDF uh, RDF schema is to is set of classes with a certain properties using RDF RDF is uh, extensible knowledge. Then ontology ontology is nothing but the it is represent the term of attribute is used to publish and share set of ontology supporting advanced web search then uh, advantage of semantic web first is search searches uh, it make easier for user to find answer semantic web search engine is a collection of is is collect and analysis semantic web document to provide search semantic web document which contain information Uh, second is increased data generation flow access the next advantage of semantic web is that it can increase data generation access flow integration using world wide web third is provide required information the main advantage of semantic web is that it present to the point answer to the user 
Third, uh, fourth is information filtering. It provides information filtering system which uh, which is remove redundant or un unwanted information from an information stream. Fifth is data integration. Uh, data in integration, semantic data integration is the process of collecting data from different different sources and combine it into meaningful or valuable information using semantic technology. Next is uh, disadvantage of semantic web. First is data silo. Data silo is a collection of data which is held by one group and that that is not easily or fully accessible by other people or users. Finance administration and other departments need different information to their work and this is not accessible to the user. Then uncertainty. Uh, it means many searches provide different different answer to read uh, different different answers to search or result which match to the search. At that time uncertainty is occur. Then duplication. Duplication is because of large number of data and uh, large number of classes class name. Uh, Sometimes it may provide duplicate data. Then application. First is information management. The semantic web uh, is a more structure and directed uh, approach to managing this information. It makes this information more useful with less wasted if effort and more capacity to measure the quality of information. Uh, second is digital libraries. The in impact of digital libraries is to combine with the open access in integrated combined libraries become value added information due to semantic web. Uh, third is e-learning semantic web support for presentation and delivery of course material and access uh, assisting and accessing data for students. It is very uh, helpful or useful for student. In conclusion, the semantic web has great potential and it direct interact with user. The semantic web is a web that is able to describe in way that computer can understand. Thank you.